Welcome back everyone. Thanks for tuning in again. Welcome to your old subs, welcome to your new subs. And if you're not subbed, click down there somewhere and uh, do me a massive favour and sub. Right, so today I was planning on going on a long track bike ride, but I might have drunk too much wine last night. So just gonna have like a bit of a smash around, a bit of a roll around. To be fair, riding a track bike is so much harder than just riding a road bike. So I thought I'd go over a few like fixed gear tips. So if any of you have just started riding fixed gear or you want to get into riding fixed gear, I'll give you a few tips and um, hopefully they'll help you out a bit. I had a few people giving me some pointers when I started um, riding and, and it really helped. I guess I'll show you my bike for those that haven't seen it or didn't see the last video. If you haven't, click down there somewhere and you can check it out. But here it is. Right, I've got flat pedals on today. Reason behind that, I think it looks cool. That, that's literally it. And I'm a bit casual and I didn't want to like wear my um, clippy cycle shoes. I, I did a little dance you probably didn't see. But uh, yeah, so. My first tip, actually, if you're riding a track bike, it is illegal in most countries to ride without a front brake, right? Um, <laughs> I haven't got a front brake on. I think this is gonna open up everything, like, this is not what this video is about. I think if you're sensible and you're not a donut and you've got a brain and you're an experienced rider, that riding without a brake is fine. I see far sketchier people riding that have got two brakes on their bikes than me when I've got none. But yeah, full disclaimer, it is illegal to ride without a brake. So, so have a brake on. That's my first tip. Put a brake on. If you've never ridden a fixed gear before and you're not on the velodrome, like velodrome's a really good place to try, but if you're not, put a front brake on. Like just, it's so different. Like the muscles you have to use to slow down. So you really, really need to get used to it. Give me a moment to think of some more things and then <laughs> I'll check back in with you. Let's go. So it is completely different riding a track bike to riding like a road bike or anything with a freewheel. It's so much fun. It really is. I mean, they're not designed for the road. It doesn't matter. They're just fun. Right, so tip number two, which is a really simple one. Don't ever stop pedaling unless you've stopped. If you try and stop pedaling, you'll get like this boop, like buck. And um, yeah, it kind of sucks. Number three, look ahead, look so far ahead. You should be doing this anyway, when you ride a road bike and gravel bike and whatever kind of bike, but with a track bike, especially if you're ever gonna consider riding brakeless, you need to be seeing things that are miles ahead. Like people walking between cars, look through the back window, to see if you can see people shuffling around like they're gonna open doors. Just treat it like everyone's trying to knock you off. Because at the end of the day, if you fall off and you're riding brakeless, doesn't matter whose fault it is, it's your fault because you haven't got any brakes. So that's how everyone's going to see it. Just don't go silly. Like it's not always about going like crazy fast. If you want to go crazy fast, go and ride on the track, you know? I mean, I'm certainly not the most innocent of riders. I've definitely spent my time blasting like red lights and not being the most sensible rider. But if you are going to do that, just uh, chill a bit. Look forwards at least. Number four, number four. <laughs> well, I suggest if you're gonna to learn to ride a track bike and you're not doing it on the velodrome, I'd head somewhere quiet, like a car park or like a cycle path, somewhere chilled where you can get used to it. Because more than likely what's gonna happen is you're gonna start pedaling and if you've got a front brake on, you're gonna try and slow down and that like kick that it gives you because you have to stop pedaling, that will kind of take you by surprise. And you don't want it taking you by surprise out on the actual road, so. I'd have a little play about in a car park. Number five, this is the most important tip. And it might seem really obvious to everyone, but like you need to learn to stop. If again, you're thinking of riding brakeless, well, if you can't stop with your feet in any position, like, you're screwed, you know? So don't even think about it until you can literally stop your track bike skid with your feet anywhere in any position on the crank set. Let me show you what I mean. So you'll be pulling up on that. So you've got your foot there pulling up whilst the other pedal stamps down. And like by doing that at the same time, it does slow you down and you kind of fight the resistance. If you unweight the saddle and you shift your weight slightly forwards, that's when you'll start to skid. It's quite hard and it feels really unnatural to be honest, skidding on a track bike to start with. I mean, you can totally skid for miles once you get the hang of it but it, it takes a bit of time. All right, number six, 
learn your gear ratios <laughs> you don't have to i'll tell you them so basically if you're riding out on the road and there's like a little bit of moderate climbing all that sort of stuff i mean i'd recommend looking at 70 gear inches so like when i used to ride in london i'd ride a 48 18 and that gives you i think about 70 inches and that's like good that's a decent decent speed for chilling along it's a decent speed for pinning it and it's all right for climbing as well i'd recommend that for like a city gear if you live somewhere say where i live where it's a bit hillier so i'll put a 47 18 on or a 47 17 at the moment it's a 47 17 because i'm not doing like loads of climbing but i would change it to an 18 if i was doing more climbing so that's it so realistically for most of you guys just getting started out you want to be around like 68 70 gear inches that's like a pretty nice gear number six have fun mate that's what it is you know like if you're riding a track bike on the road right it's not for speed look why has it started raining now i mean honestly mate like not many raining decided to rain now you've decided to ride a track bike out on the road to commute on it it's awesome it's going to be fun but it's not as fast it's not going to be as fast as a road bike so and you have to ride it differently it's more like flowy and really nice so enjoy it it's great fun especially when you get the hang of it might not be at the start but give it a bit of time here's an important one like supplies supplies <laughs> going on like an expedition tools i mean you're going to need a spanner you don't need to get a massive one. I mean, this is not the smallest, not the biggest. A bit awkward to carry, but you can fit it in like a jersey pocket. The wheels are not quick release. If you're going out, you've got all your punch repair kit, you've got everything with you and you haven't got one of these. Well, I mean, you can still fix a puncher like, you know, without taking the wheel off. It's just not very easy. So that's pretty much the only thing that you'll need apart from like your standard tool kit. So I've got, someone asked what I have in my saddlebag. So here we go, let's have a look. Random stuff. I've got a multi-tool, a tire lever, CO2 canister, spare tube, spare valves. So that's what's in my bag. I don't know if this is number nine, number eight, number seven. I've, I've got no idea to be honest, guys. One thing I do know is I need a coffee and it's not a proper fixed gear ride or a ride for me if I don't go and get a coffee. Not one to film coffees, but that's a banging coffee, right? Get a bunch of tires because you're going to enjoy skidding it's going to be fun um i hope you found all these tips helpful if i did miss anything out or you do want to know anything in particular you know guys just let me know down below bit of a short one today well not a lot of riding footage a lot of talking <laughs> thing is i'm doing a lot of my training on the turbo at the minute it's really hard to do a training session and talk to you guys so i need to kind of work out how to do that so i get the best out of my training session and i can talk to you guys and i want it to be interesting i figure this is more interesting to be honest as always thank you guys for tuning in again you guys rock Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and do ask me any questions down below. And uh, stay tuned for something epic. <laughs> See you later. Bye.